as close as you get to freedom though right here <laughs> like uh, i don't know if they're locked in or if i'm locked out somebody tell me what's the word 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 i think you started out as a novelist right i did a novel called uh, vulture and a book of poetry called small talk and 125th and lynx they were the first things that ever appeared in public that I was responsible for, and um, first chance to record came after I'd done some books. We have a poem here. It's called Whitey on the Moon. It was inspired by some whiteys on the moon. <laughs> poem said, a rat done bit my sister Nell with Whitey on the moon, and her face and arms began to swell. And Whitey's on the moon. I can't pay no doctor bills, but Whitey's on the moon. Ten years from now, I'll be paying still while Whitey's on the moon. It comes down to Gil Scott Heron and Yuma. It's just a reflection of how we kick it as people. The people who were my instructors, the Paul Robesons, the Langston Hughes, Martin Delaney, County Cullen, these people not only knew the issues and the ideas and the emotional content of where the, where the community was coming from, but they displayed it in the manner that the community would display it. We'd like to do a poem for you called The Revolution Will Not Be Televised, primarily because it won't be. You will not be able to stay home, brother. You will not be able to plug in, turn on, and cop out. You will not be able to lose yourself on Skag and skip out for beer during commercials because the revolution will not be televised. The revolution will be no rerun, brothers. The revolution will be live. A whole lot of people did not read, could not read, would not read, and they would still listen to a poem delivered orally. I said I wasn't going to write no more poems like this. Brother Torres is dead. Too many brothers are still incarcerated. Ed Davis, Ronald Reagan, James Hunt, and Frank Rizzo are still alive, and the dogs are in the street. I said I wasn't going to write no more poems like this, but I made a mistake. Taking it from the last poets and the watch prophets and from James Brown and Curtis Mayfield, pretty much saying, OK, yeah, let's keep it together, but this is what's out there, so make sure you got your eyes and your ears open. Gil Scott Heron with that soothing baritone, with that ability to tell the political truth that America didn't want to hear. Here was a man who joined the word to the drum, the beat. See that black boy over there running his head, this old man in the bottom. Well, now, he's a Christian, he's six foot down, now he's hanging in the bottom. I never, never went home again. The first step toward having people change is try to change their minds, to inform them, give them some information about your perspective, tell them how you see things and why you feel the way you do, as opposed to what they're being bombarded with all the time. Young rappers, one more suggestion before I get out of your way. But I appreciate the respect you give me and what you got to say. I'm saying protect your community and spread that respect around. Remember. Hey, this ain't really your life. Ain't really your life. Ain't really ain't nothing but a movie. This ain't really your life. Ain't nothing.